Hi guys and welcome to a new vlog. So today I am going to be taking Smokey on his very first hack and I'm also going to be showing you all the other horses and animals because I'm going to the farm and you will see all seven horses in this video. So to begin with I went and fetched Smokey in from the field and groomed him and tacked him up and then we set off for our very first hack. So today I was joined by one of the ladies on the yard who very kindly offered to show me around um, because I'm not overly familiar with the area where Smokey is kept because it's just not really um, somewhere I've ever been around so I didn't know any of the hacking or anything like that. So we started off on the roads because there's quite um, a bit of village around us and he got I got to see him what it was like with cars because I've not actually ridden him um, on the roads before. I have hacked him out on fields um, when I was trialling him but I've never actually ridden out on the roads and to say he was in the lead he was doing really well. Um, he was looking at a few things um, but I was expecting him to be a lot spookier. I mean as you can see a really big van went past. He really wasn't bothered about any vehicles whatsoever during our hack um, so I was really pleased with him. So one of my favourite things about the yard is that there is so much hacking and there's a lot of off-road hacking as well that you can do and a lot of grass verges. Um, so me and Smokey enjoyed today going out and having a bit of a trot and a little bit of a canter as well um, in places, just getting him used to being hacked out um, and getting used to the area. As you can see he was very inquisitive, wanted to have a look at everything. Um, but he was really well behaved and he got on really well with the horse that we went out riding with as well. And quite luckily it was such a lovely day, it was perfect weather for a hack. As you guys know, the farm where I keep the rest of the horses, we don't actually have any hacking around us, um, which is the reason you don't really see any hacking videos from me. But this means that now that I have Smokey on livery yard, um, you'll be seeing a lot more hacking videos. And um, There's still a few stubble fields we need to try out in the coming weeks. So we were out for quite a long time, about an hour and a half, and during that time um, I wanted to test Smokey and not just take him on, you know, like easy routes. So we did one section where you literally have to go past a lot of farm machinery that's kind of like on the track and he was a little spooked by it, he didn't want to go through initially because you literally have to walk through two pieces of equipment, um, but he was really, really good. And we did also at one point encounter a track that went past Boy. a field of miniatures with foals and donkeys and Smokey's idea of hell is miniature Shetlands. He's really scared of them for some reason. Um, so I was really proud of him for walking around this field um, and not kind of losing his mind because he really, I could feel him underneath me. He was really scared of the miniatures that were like hiding behind the fence and they all kind of came galloping over at one point, but he didn't really react. So I was really, really proud of him. You can kind of see them on the left. Um, but this was the only section he really didn't like um, because as I said he is really scared of miniatures and I have sort of seen this in other horses as well. I don't know if he just can't work out what they are because we do have some miniature Shetlands on the farm um, and he's not too sure about those ones either. So we also went past a lot of rubbish, a lot of skips, um, a lot of things that a lot of horses that I know wouldn't want to go past and he went past them no problem. He was really, really good to say this was our first hack. I was super proud of him. And um, we even met a few things that normally scary like bicycles, not a problem with bikes. He was absolutely fine with that. We had quite a few large vans going past. Um, so really he was pretty perfect um, to say this was our first hack out and everything. 
so you will be seeing a lot more hacking videos coming from me and Smokey um, but that was the end of our first hack we just got him back on the yard and I took him in and untacked him And today Smokey got turned out into a new paddock because his paddock has an oak tree in it and I didn't think he'd bother with it but then he started eating a few acorns so as they are poisonous I've moved to him paddock um, while there are acorns on the ground because he is a little fatty and he will eat anything whether it's poisonous or not um, so for his own safety he has moved paddocks uh, which he quite likes the look of this one I think. So after I'd seen to Smokey, I then went to the farm, so back to my parents' farm where the other six horses are kept. Um, I will be going back here every like day off, um, really, so you will still be seeing all of the other horses and all of the other normal videos that I did on the farm. So by the time I got down, it was time for the horses' lunchtime hay net, so I just helped my mum go and give all the horses their hay, and it's so nice to see the horses. Obviously, I still see them. I think four times a week on my days off but it, I just appreciate them more now that they're not on like my back garden because I don't live at home anymore um, so it is nice to just come and see them and spend some time with them. Hey guys so I've come to the farm and I'm going to be riding um chili so as I was saying, I've come to the farm and given the horses their hay nets and everything. Um, obviously Mr Chili Pepper still wants more, um, but I'm actually going to ride Lucy today. I am going to be riding Chili in the next couple of days, so you will see more of him very soon because he's got a new jumping saddle that we need to try out. But for now, it is not all about you, mister. It's so fluffy. Uh, anyone else's horses get in their winter coat because this guy is turning into a polar bear. Excuse me. <laughs> no manners. Right, let's go get Lucy. Hello. Come on then. So as you can see, Lucy is also setting her winter coat, the amount of hair coming off her, and she's pretty dirty, so ignore that. Um, but yeah, I could literally make a blanket out of the horses at the moment. So after a bit of de-shedding, I then tacked her up and as you can see, she was raring to go as always. Um, so today I'm actually filming using my Pivo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's basically this little gadget that you put your phone on and it automatically has a horse tracking facility. So I'm going to give this a go. I might do a review on it um, because I know it's quite good on the flat but we'll see what it's like when I jump and things but I was quite impressed with it today um, so that's what I used to film this as I didn't have anyone with me uh, to film today and today I was just working on getting back into riding Lucy to be honest I haven't ridden her um, for a few weeks and she's been out of work for about a week now um, so she was quite lazy we all know Lucy's quite lazy to begin with um, but I did pick up the whip halfway through um, and she was working a lot better then. I did warm her up before these clips but I always kind of skip that part because I know it's a bit boring for you guys to watch. And we're working on her canter, just getting her a bit more forward in it. But overall she went really well, it felt like I was riding a giant after being on my little 14 hand smokey. Um, so God knows what it's going to be like when I actually get on chilly in the next couple of days, he genuinely is a giant.
okay guys so that is me all ridden um lucy went really well she was a little bit lazy but she's not been ridden in a few days maybe even a week so actually she went really well um and i was really pleased with her so i'm going to um give her a brush off now and then i'm going to turn her out into the field mr chili peppers stay in for a little bit longer and i've got any treats so yeah I'm exhausted now. I don't know why, I've not really done anything today. Very good girl, Lucy. Good girl. She looks pooped. I only rode you for like half an hour, Lucy. <laughs> We're working a little bit on her canter um, and getting her more forward in her trot but to be honest it was really strange riding her, I've not ridden her for a while and obviously I'm so used to smoking now that she feels huge so um, next week when I ride Chili is going to be very strange because I'm so used to 14 hands now not 17 um, so we'll see how I get on. But yeah, Lucy's really wide, so whenever I ride Lucy, I know I've ridden her because uh, my legs always ache straight afterwards. Um, excuse me. Don't think so. Good girl. No, you've had treats. See you in a bit, Lulu. Bye bye. You've had treats. Okay guys, so now I'm going to help my mum feed all the horses and do the normal evening routine that we do here on the farm um, with these six um, because we're at, it's actually Sunday today so we're going to have a Sunday roast so they're all being fed a little bit early um, so that's what we're going to get on and do now
I thought while I'm here, um, I'd show you the animals because obviously I don't actually get to see them as often as I would like. I do still come down and see all the animals at least once a week and see the horses um, on my days off. So don't worry, you're still going to be seeing them all. Um, but I'm going to make sure that I make a special effort to include them in as many videos as possible so that the videos are kind of just the same. So obviously we have the many chickens. Actually, we don't have many left now. I think we're nearly ready for our um, next set of expat trees. Hello, chicken. Hello. Come and say hello to the piggies. Hello, Brimmy. It's not tea time. No. No, Mr. Pickle. And the three very fat goats. Hello. So in the paddock, the goats have now got rubber matting on their table to stop them sleeping because it was getting a little bit slippy um, with their hooves. And then over here, they've got a couple of new things. So they've got this new ramp, um, again, rubber matting so they don't slip. Hello. I've now got goats surrounding me. So guys, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you get a notification every time I post. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys.